this is a matchup we've seen time and time again from Change My Mind and Method Black. And like we kind of talked about in the past, Change My Mind has not done well. Method Black kind of has their number with this Demon Hunter Death Knight composition. We'll have to see what Change My Mind can get done. Method Black currently going after Minpoike, showing that they are unafraid in game number one. Really putting the pressure on as Minpoike attempts to escape. Fried Kitty backing him up with a Frost Nova and now able to recover. Acro looks like he wants to get aggressive as well and go after Chaz. This could end up being a healer race. Chaz getting into bear form right before the stun. Raikou lands a triple. Great crowd control. Change my mind actually opt to use their Gladiator's Medallion to try and all in on Chaz, but get denied by Swapsy's anti-magic zone. Change my mind are playing this matchup a lot more aggressively, which still probably doesn't play into the favor of their composition, but what else can they really do? They're going to blind Chaz. They're trying to bait his Gladiator's Medallion. Now they've got an opening in 30 seconds to make a swap onto Chaz. Can they make it is now the question. They need to make sure that they crowd control Raikou and deny his darkness when they do so. They've got icy veins. They could make Whoa. a big push. There's a big opportunity for Change My Mind in just a few seconds to get a kill. Yeah, Raikou, he's playing relentless. So if they get the crowd control, there's no way for him to break out of that, opting not to play the Gladiator's Medallion. If they crowd control, they can deny the darkness, and that's the opening that they need. But they, there's a 10-second window right now where Chaz doesn't have the bar skin. He's just making it so difficult. You can see Chaz's position. He's just behind the pillar, out of line of sight, never poking out unless he's in bear form. And that makes it difficult for Change My Mind to find these swap opportunities onto him throughout the game. Yep, they're finally putting some pressure on Swapsy. So this is to bait Chaz to come out of bear form and start healing him. But I don't think they're going to get it. They do. They find him out of form, but bar skin now available. Fried Kitty peeled away. Perfect Chaos Nova. D Decent pressure on the two members, though, from Change My Mind, showing signs of life. They go for a Maledict play onto Chaz. Can they find a kill? They really need to pull it off in this next couple of seconds. They're going to fall behind. They do still have pressure onto two points of the team of Method Black. I'm curious to see what Minpoike's mana situation is. Not too good comparatively to Chaz, but at least they've got pressure. Yeah, definitely. Kidney shot now on Chaz. What are they going to be able to get done? Fried Kitty, unfortunately, not able to find too much damage. Acro is just going to be turning his attention on to Swapsy, trying to find pressure in multiple points. But at this point in the game, changed my mind. Mipoike is almost completely out of mana, only has a little bit left. There's been great pressure here for Raikou and Swapsy. And this is what we've seen in this matchup. It's just so difficult for Change My Mind to push through the defensive cooldowns and defensive healing that Method Black has available with this composition. I just don't know where the opening really is. Chaz with no trinket, no bar skin, a little bit vulnerable, but Swapsy and Raku, they have those very powerful defensives with the anti-magic zone and the darkness to keep them alive. Well, Change My Mind have focused exclusively on this rogue mage druid. I would say they're a top caliber at it, but in the current meta, this Demon Hunter Death Knight composition is more or less one of the most difficult compositions they could ever face. I do appreciate that they are trying different styles, so in this match, we're seeing a much more aggressive all-in attempt onto Chaz, which is definitely a possible win condition but it also means the game can end sooner for them as well as they aren't able to avoid mana rifts and all three members will take a lot of damage from the death knight and the demon hunter currently in this position with Minpoike having zero mana left Chaz with so much defense available on his team it would be a bit of a throw for method black to go down Minpoike is going to struggle just to keep his team alive yeah definitely acro rotting down fry kitty as well and this is the point of the match where we see things fall apart very quickly for change my mind you'll see multiple ice blocks be pulled out in succession and Poiki has to do a good job dealing no innervate available for quite some time another attempt here on to Chaz and he is going to get out of the stun and he should be completely fine off the back of that anti-magic zone a good backup there from Swapsy to keep him alive Acro still trying to find some pressure on to Swapsy Fried Kitty just trying to deny as much damage as possible, potentially buy some time for Minpoike to sneak away, but he knows there's really not much of an opportunity. Raku's been doing such a good job making sure he stays on Minpoike consistently in the match that Minpoike hasn't even bothered to try to escape and reset his mana. No, it just appears that Change My Mind want to kill Chaz at any cost in game number one. A risky decision, but at this point, with this composition they're running, what else have they not even tried to do? Minpoike's totally tapped. Swapsy's getting down for the kill. Minpoike on the run. How much longer can he keep it up? Absolutely zero mana left in the tank, but Chaz finally being pressured. Whoa. Is this the throwaway? Darkness at very low help. I mean, Poike looks to fall first. Close call for Chaz. Changed my mind. Have pressure in game number one, but still not able to take a game off Method Black. Break the curse. They have taken down so many squads throughout this season, but Method Black, it's been their kryptonite. Currently 0-13 in map count against this squad. Method Black looking to make that 0-14 right here and put themselves on match point.
All right, Minpoike already getting charged down into a mana rift combination. Method Black's composition really focuses at attacking the mana bar of the enemy healer and then denying them from drinking. However, changed my mind going after the enemy healer, Chaz, and I think that is the only player of the team, at least before deeper stages of dampening, that can ultimately go down. They have managed to pull a large arsenal of defensive cooldowns from Method Black initially in their first attack. However, it was at the back of the Icy Veins, the most powerful Frost Mage offensive cooldown. So now Chaz is going to be feeling a lot more safe and comfortable moving forward. I'm curious to see how Minpoike escapes and finds drinks, because if he's not able to, Raikou will outdo his mana with that mana rift. Yeah, definitely. Valet, we've already seen him use that Leap of Faith. Basically, as a Shadow Priest, you have Leap of Faith, and you can grip one of your teammates towards you. And he's been using that on Minpoike so far to avoid some of those incoming mana rifts, and that's going to extend Minpoike's mana even more compared to the Rogue Mage Druid setup we saw earlier. So if they can implement that, and we see Minpoike sneak away and actually get some mana uh, regenerated back. Things could be looking good for Change My Mind, but you can see Chaz, he's already looking to escape. He's already looking to regenerate his mana. Unfortunately for him, and Poike actually chases him down and denies his drink. And right now, Change My Mind have the mana lead. Yeah, definitely a mana lead. I'm curious how many dispels Valet is actually getting off here because that could be a way to expend Chaz's mana as the dispel costs significantly less than the rejuvenations of Chaz. So that could be a way for Change My Mind to actually win on mana in this particular matchup, potentially break their curse against Method Black and put a point on the board. Minpoike, though, is getting pressured as Method Black got him down. Wild charge up to safety. Good positioning from Valet. Nice teamwork by the team of Change My Mind to allow Minpoike to escape. Yet yeah, Chaz in stealth. What is he going to do? Looks like he can't afford to sneak away just yet. Needs to keep the heels up on a Raikou and a Swapsie. But Chaz, if he can escape, the thing that is really difficult for Method Black in this situation is change my mind. They have so many offensive dispels. If Fried Kitty's playing the Kleptomania, that's going to empower a spell steal, allow him to remove every single heal over time effect. And then Valet can kind of trade globals with Chaz. If he puts up a rejuvenation, it's going to get dispelled. And that way, Chaz falls behind very quickly, and you can see him have to use a lot of mana in order to keep his team alive. If you look at the mana bar right now, change my mind, Method Black, they're both relatively even. And Poike once again into the Fell Eruption, Ooh. into the Mana Rift, gets Vortex back there by Chaz. Nice nice play there by Method Black, making sure the point is eating as many of those mana rifts as possible. I think in this match, it's going to come down to Drink Denial, and Method Black have a much easier time of denying Minpoike. Valet is trying to stop Chaz. Manages to get in line of sight, deny the drink, keep the mana game at least even. This has been the most pressure we've seen and the most even match we've seen between Change My Mind and Method Black. If there was going to be a game that Change My Mind can take, I feel like this is going to be it. Can they keep it up a bit longer? Good crowd control setup on Raikou gets bursted down. Whoa. They continue the chain, potentially forcing even more defensive cooldowns. Change My Mind showing signs of They get a full polymorph. Now the Glyre's Medallion has to remove that. Chaz commits even further uh, cooldowns to stay in the fight. Raikou falls behind. Huge swing for Change My Mind. Mana still in their favor. It's looking good. Yeah, these offensive dispels from Valet really putting Chaz behind, especially when he looks to sneak away for those drinks. And Poike getting low in the meantime. He uses the Iron Bark, but Raikou and Swaps is still all over no. him. Fell Eruption. What, how much damage do they have available? And Poike is able to survive. Tries to leap away. Gets gripped back by Swapsy. In the meantime, Chaz sitting down for a drink. If he regenerates a lot of mana, this is going to be so bad for Change My Mind. I think he's getting a full reset, Sid. I think most certainly he is, and that is now not looking too good for Change My Mind. Will Minpoike be able to escape? Well, it's going to be difficult with a ghoul chasing him as well as Raikou hunting him down, constantly looking for mana rifts. It was looking so solid for Change My Mind. They had a huge opening, but now it has been lost. They were unable to deny the drink of Chaz, and the lead that they had built for themselves is basically entirely lost. Now we get into dampening. If Minpoike can somehow heal through this into deeper stages of dampening, Swapsy becomes more of a liability for the team of Method Black, and I could see Change My Mind taking him out with those offensive dispels on the heal over time effects. So everything rides on Minpoike, but this is going to be one of the most difficult matches to heal through with almost no mana remaining for him. Yeah, Raikou, you can see he's caught into a cyclone. Swapsy immediately turning his attention on him and Poike, but good backup. Raikitty sneaks a polymorph on Swapsy. Poike tries to escape, and Chaz hunts him down. So all three members of Method Black, they have really good communication, making sure they're denying Oof. all the drink attempts Minpoike, Minpoike really has. But he sneaks away in stealth into sort of the starting area. Raikou's trying to get him, but Valet with good crowd control. And Poike's actually sitting oh. down. Might be able to regenerate a little bit of mana straight into a fell eruption, into a mana rift. Raikou denies. 
Nope, Jazz Fry following Kitty. it up with the Cyclone as well. Fry Kitty getting low. This could be a second ice block of the game. Good pressure here for Method Black. And now, changed my mind, they're not in a great situation. See, if Mpoike had been able to get mana back, that would have been a fair trade for an ice block, I believe, in this matchup. At least the mana is evened out. Suddenly, Chaz is having a very difficult time maintaining his mana. Dampening has just stepped in. They're bursting down Raikou. Fully channeled Ray of Frost now gets denied by Swapsy. Raikou holds on with Iron Bark. Mana completely even at this point with Dampening moving forward. Curious to see if Change My Mind changed targets in this match on game number two. This is the most close fight we've seen between these teams. Currently 13-0 overall in the spring season in favor of Method Black's score. And Change My Mind looked to break that slump. Yeah, it's really important. If they want to start building momentum moving forward into the spring finals, this is the series they definitely needed to do it. Fried Kitty, though, with no ice block, is a very vulnerable target, and Swapsy's just been all over him in this matchup, denying a lot of his incoming damage and making sure he's pressured throughout this entire match. And Poike still trying to sneak away. Raikou chasing him down hunting down that mana bar on the Restoration Druid. And Mimpoike just can't escape the pressure, the onslaught from Raikou constantly into the Fell Eruptions, into the mana rifts. You see right now Chaz trying to reposition and sneak away for a drink. And luckily for Change My Mind, Chaz's mana isn't doing great either. If they can somehow hold on, definitely still in this game at 10% dampening, it's not going to be easy for Chaz to keep his teammates alive, especially with those offensive spells that we're kind of talking about coming in from Change My Mind. Ooh, crowd control and Raikou, huge burst. Chaz gets cycloned. Great follow-up by Change My Mind, creating a bit of an opening here to get a kill on Raikou moving forward. But once again, everything rides on Minpoike. He's got zero mana left. His mage has no ice blocks remaining. This is still going to be the most difficult recovery we've probably seen from him in a tournament this year. But potentially they can pull it off. They've managed to at least keep the mana even. They're showing signs of life with burst opportunities. Raikou running that relentless could end up being a liability if he's caught in a bash later on and unable to remove it if change my mind can dish out enough damage to find a kill fried kitty gets bursted and poike desperately trying to deny the kill with iron bark activated it appears to be enough to stabilize dampening ramping up Chaz still trying to find a drink potentially no not even needing to look for one just yet there's the bash these are the crowd control effects that change my mind could find a kill but not enough damage to back it up at least they managed to bait iron bark minpoike has been getting a lot of cyclones which could be the x factor but it's also costing him mana such a difficult decision for change my mind do they commit for the crowd control and try and find a kill or do they just try and keep a little bit more mana left in the tank to keep the fight going on that bit longer the decision is a hard one to make but they have to do it if they want want to pull off a victory here. Silence on Chaz. Raikou trades. Caught in that frozen orb, though. Trying to reconnect. Fried Kitty with no ice blocks. No mana remaining. Iron Bark, once again, the last line of defense. But even still, void Belay shift. has to void shift. They switch to Belay. He now has to disperse. Basically, all of the defensive cooldowns burned in one push. Minpoike wants to exchange those cooldowns for a drink. Chaz jumps in and denies him. And Belay is likely to fall here with no defense remaining. Crowd control gets denied. Raikou leads the charge. Belay holds Holds on by a thread, catches a couple of Shadow Men's doing everything in his power to keep this game going just that bit longer, but ultimately falls for the pressure of Method Black. Well, change my mind has run through serve blow after blow against this team, and they are looking to wrap up the series right here and now on hook point. Yeah, change my mind and bringing it to hook point, the smallest map in the pool, the most aggressive one as well. I'm curious to see what kind of swaps change my mind are looking to set up. Bouncing between Raikou and Chaz is likely to be their early game strategy, although Method Black have a simple plan of attack. Gun down Belay, Mana Rift, and Poike as much as possible, but the Restoration Shaman can actually deal with the Mana Rift pretty effectively. Healing Wave is a low-cost healing spell and shamans can keep healing even on very little mana for quite some time also bringing in the double dispel with a shaman and a shadow priest could be very effective for change my mind's all-in attempt here shortly and poike still getting stunned up acro exchanging faint during that crowd control to reduce incoming damage able to survive Still no significant setup just yet from Change My Mind, focusing much more on dispelling heal over time effects. They'd land a double fear kidney shot on Chaz. This could be an effective strategy to net themselves a kill later on. Definitely look to see that crowd control initiated time and time again. But now that that crowd control has faded, Valet will be on the back foot. Yet the Demon Hunter of Raikou provides great backup for Chaz. Not only does he have that very powerful cooldown darkness, he also has a reverse magic. So Valet used to silence onto Chaz, and Raikou was able to use reverse magic to take the silence off of Chaz and put it onto Valet, and that makes it difficult for Valet to get off damage. So 
a lot of synergy with the composition Method Black has available. And so far, changed my mind, they've struggled to find pressure. We kind of talked about the mana advantage maybe Minpoike could have on the Restoration Shaman, but he's already on 40% mana. We were just a few minutes into the game. Yep, how much longer can change my mind? Keep it up here. Can they break the slump? Can they break the curse? They're trying to bait a trinket. They managed to get it from Chaz. Now they can make that swap double psychic screen play later on, but Minpoike gets gripped into the fight. Triple stun for Raikou secured as they try to develop momentum. Fortunately for Minpoike, he had Earthen Wall Totem activated right before that incoming crowd control. It soaked up a ton of damage and allowed his team to recover. Curious to see if Minpoike just decides to go all in here. They're attacking Chaz. They got his virus medallion, which is the main objective of that last push. Now they're looking to get crowd control on both Raikou and Swapsy to deny their defense. No, instead actually continuing the attack on Raikou, trying to mix it up and catch Chaz off guard. Silence into stun. Valet in position for a psychic scream. Uh -oh. Are they going to go for it? Doesn't look. They get the psychic scream. They dispel the heal over time effects. Raikou in a bit of trouble. Manages to duck around the corner. Reverse magic Chaz out of crowd control and recover. Bit of a close call, but change my mind are running on such a short candlestick. Minpoike is almost out of mana. Yeah, definitely. With no mana left, it's going to be very difficult for Change My Mind, but there's been good pressure for them. I like the fact that they're going after Raikou early on, going after Chaz, really not be able to get too much done. But I think with the amount of single target damage the Shadow Priest and the Assassination Rogue have, this is a great opportunity for them. Raikou forced a trinket out of the Smoke Bomb attempt. Now Double Chaos Nova lands from Raikou onto Valet and Afro. Raikou continuing the pressure onto the damage over the DPS of the team of Change My Mind. Meanwhile, Swapsy once again just running down and Poike fell eruption. He trinkets oh no, out. That's overlapped. overlapped with the leap of faith, and that overlap is going to basically force Change My Mind to run out oh. and are much quicker. Chaz pre Iron Bar. This crowd control chain could have ended the game. They got Raikou's Gliders Medallion with the smoke bomb, and they were looking to set up for a kill right there, and Chaz predicted it, activated Iron Bar before it even happened, denied the kill, and now they have all of the momentum. Three members of Change My Mind critically low on health and Poike with absolutely no mana left. Swapsy just running him down Terminator style. Swapsy looking to solo Min Poike around the corner. He's not able to escape to safety. Acro gets bursted down by Raikou. Two members low on health. Valet's only got one void shift. Who is he going to have to commit it to? They've managed to at least scramble back together and stay alive but still with no mana left in the tank. Chaz as well basically out of mana. Can change my mind. Pull it off then? Potentially, if they go after him in Poike, he's going to be able to keep himself alive. Ghost Wolf is a very powerful ability Min Poike has, especially if you use the right talents and adds the right traits. Gives him a lot of heal over time effects to keep himself alive. So I think going after Valet, going after Acro in this situation is probably the best thing that Method Black can do because going after Min Poike provides him just too efficient of healing. Now Valet under pressure, but a nice attempt onto Raikou once again. No blur available. Iron Bark was used by Chaz, but still, these offensive dispels coming in from Valet. Very dangerous. Valet gets low. No dispersion. Has to trade out the Void Shift on him in Poike. Imprisonment on Minpoike. Now Valet still in a lot of trouble. Ooh, Chaz and a Psychic Scream. Both teams at the end of their rope in this match, but Method Black has more defense available, and defense is going to be the name of their strategy. Chaz moves in, secures a bash. Acro trinkets out to try and keep up the attack onto Raikou. They've got such a limited window of time to find a kill. They're just not finding it. Now with the Abomination activated, Swapsy's looking to close. Valet gets crushed. Method Black 15-0 against Change My Mind. Time is a flat circle. Everything we've ever done or will do, we're gonna do over and over again. Change my mind just facing the cruel reality of fate. Such a decisive blow dealt by Method Black that even feed versus the fake zebras were all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history. The longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.